Hello, everybody. Welcome to Are You Feeling the Goods? We are so excited to have our second guest ever on this segment, the one and only, the beautiful, the talented, amazing, Miss Adrienne DeLeon. Hi. Woo! Thank you so much for being here, Mama. My pleasure. Thank you so much. How, how are you doing today? Today, yes. That's the, that's the word. At this today, moment. Today, I feel great. Got my booty out for a run this morning. Woo, look at you. Yeah, I was, I have to do it. Uh, and now I'm just chilling talking to you. So like, things are good. Yes, wild feminist you are. Hey. So this segment, Are You Feeling the Goods? I'm going to be asking you a series of questions and topics and you're going to answer with either yeah <laughs> or nah. Nah. Okay. 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 And then we can talk about it. You explain your your answer, um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about some stuff. So okay. here we go. Are you ready for Are you feeling the goods? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the Trump rally on Saturday in Tulsa had over mm. eight hundred thousand RSVPs. Trump and the Republicans were so excited they even set up an additional outdoor after party. It was sure to be a smash hit, right? But to their surprise, only 6,000 people showed up. So, Adrian, as an independent musician, do you relate to this experience? Yeah or yeah. not? Nah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've had the millions of Facebook uh, RSVPs, and then no one shows up. To the yeah, and even the text from the homies, like, can I get list? And like, all right. And then, nah. <laughs> nah. All yeah. right. So you, you, the one. This is the one thing you relate to uh, Trump's experience on, huh? Yeah, I've been, I've been disappointed. Maga hat in hand. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Question number two. In the past few weeks, symbols of oppression, such as Confederate monuments, have been taken down all over the world. This week, activists such as Sean King are calling for the removal of white Jesus statues and depictions as he says, they are a form of white supremacy. Do you agree with this, yeah or not? Nah? Ooh, that's heavy. I'm gonna say not nah nah. because everybody's, and this is something I express to my husband all the time. Can I explain my answer? Please, please. <laughs> this, is, this is something I express to my husband all the time. Religion is very personal and uh, whoever, whatever deity you choose to worship is probably gonna be in your likeness so if white folks want to have a white Jesus and black folks want to have a black Jesus or they want to have somewhere in between or Middle Eastern Jesus, it, I'm all about it. But I, I wouldn't be up in somebody's church taking down their white Jesus. It's just, that's, that's like, you think it's for me. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know, because like historically it's completely inaccurate, obviously. Having oh, obviously, like, yeah. So I feel like being like, you have to pray to this kind of Jesus in this church uh, I, I say take them down. Word. I I, I can agree with you. Okay. I can see where you're coming from. Totally. Yeah. I grew up in yeah. black and white church. So I've seen black Jesus and white Jesus. Right. So. This one might be a little sensitive for you, I know. <laughs> but um, in a column titled, Love Baby Yoda, I Cannot, Jeremy Gordon writes that he thinks Disney has taken its trademark cuteness and extended it to Star Wars where it does not belong. He argues that if Baby Yoda is here, who's to say we won't also get Baby Chewbacca and Baby Darth Maul or any other character that can be merchandised? Yeah or nah? Nah, nah, nah. to the hell, nah, 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 nah. I knew this one would, would strike a chord. Tell us why. Oof, listen, we, I, okay. <laughs> Cuteness aside, I feel like John Favreau, showrunner, writer for Mandalorian, he put in so much reverence and respect for the, for George Lucas's vision that he could put, I, I, he could put baby, he could put baby Mando on the screen, which he did but he makes it not cheesy. You know what I mean? It's like, it's all about the treatment. And I know people are looking at the whole cultural thing that is Baby Yoda, but if they actually watch the series, they would see that it's treated well and with respect. So that's where I'm coming from. Star Wars nerd, sorry. Oh. 
<laughs> well, you in internet land, Adrienne loves Baby Yoda. So. <laughs> there you go. All right, moving right along. And, and, and my personal answer, if you're wondering, any Star Wars, anything? I can't, I have it. I know, I know. Oh, I know. girl, it's time. It's time. Moving on. So I cannot comment on this. I mean, I think it's cute. It's cute. Super cute. Of course. Yeah. All right, moving on. So as of today, due to the coronavirus, social distancing has been in place in California for over three months. And while states have started opening up, social distancing guidelines are still in place and likely will be until an effective treatment or vaccine is available. Given the length of this ongoing public health crisis, is it fair to expect people who are not in relationships or do not have a consistent sexual partner to abstain from sex altogether? Yeah or nah? Nah. Nah. Tell us why. Listen, it's Listen. all about respecting your neighbor. And like, I wear a mask, for you, right? And you wear it for me. So if we're in a place where the two have been vibing for a while, like say you're online dating, right? Mm -hmm. And you're just getting to know this person, whatever, and you're both safe and you both can trust each other, then I say go for it, man. Don't don't withhold yourself some loving because of this. If it could like, you know, add to the spread of possibly continuing this virus longer. I don't think so. Not with two people in a, in a room. That's their prerogative. But it's when they go out to the public, then it's like, okay, now you know you could potentially have been exposed. So it just goes up for everything. Put on your damn mask. I'm with you on that. I think not fair. Nah, I'm gonna give that a nah. Okay. Good. But you know, there's, I was also reading when I was researching this stuff, there's some, uh, some kinky mask sex, if you're into that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> All right, moving right along. Finally, last question. So Ranker did a poll ranking the greatest female vocalists of all time. There were 1.9 million votes for this, uh, for this poll. So coming in first, number one, Whitney Houston. Number two, Aretha Franklin. Number three, Celine Dion. Number four, Mariah Carey. And number five, Karen Carpenter. Yeah or nah? I'm gonna say big nah. Nah. Of, to all five? Or just Karen Carpenter? No, just, just the K Carps. It's a I mean, love a good K Carps, nah. but number five? Prolific songwriter. A mate, like, come on. Vocal range, all things. But are they just basing it on like octaves now? Like, uh I mean, there's almost 2 million peeps voting for this, which is a lot of votes, a lot of votes. What's your top five? Ella Fitzgerald, okay. Okay, so I think she was number six, actually. I think she was the next one. Okay, well then, all right, cool. Whitney's up there, obviously Riri's up there. Riri. Shaka didn't make it? Shaka didn't make it. Is Shaka even in the top 10? No, I didn't even see her. I think, I like Beyonce was like number 20. 20 I can see that. I'm, I'm looking at it as, vocalists who have influenced future vocalists. Right. Um, set the groundwork. So mm -hmm. I, I agree yeah. with most of that. But yeah, K-Carbs as number five, right? No, sorry, I love, like I said, no shade, but it's- You're gonna give that a big, can you sing it for me? Can you sing it for us? Na, 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 na. <laughs> yes, all right, well that concludes the ya uh, or na nah portion of Are You Feeling the Goods? Thank hey. you for joining us your beautiful wisdom and insight. So um, I wanted to just talk about you for a second and highlight what you're doing and what you're up to. Adrian is an amazing vocalist, songwriter, um, and with the band Orgone, LA based, right? Yep. And uh, Matador Soul Sounds as well. What else are you working on right now? Tell the people. Well, I've been doing a lot of like really cool collaborative videos. I, I think every vocalist has been, you know, jumping into these you know, tributes and, you know, just trying to make people happy. I'm kind of buttoning up my own project. Um, it's in its infancy right now, but I, uh, I've been working with Kelly Finnegan. I went up and wrote with him before quarantine went down and we're going to continue to write together. Hopefully get something out by the end of the year of my own solo. Yes. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting a, 
from my uh, from my producers here, Shaka Khan was number sixty four. What? No. No. That's a na 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 Anyway, sorry to interrupt. So we, you all can look forward to hearing uh, solo Adrian DeLeon, which is going to be, I have no doubt, the most amazing thing you've ever heard because this lady sings for days. This question that we want to ask all of our guests on Are You Feeling the Goods? Adrian, what of your goods, which of your goods are you feeling the most right now? Ooh. I, brain. Yeah, okay. And here's why. I didn't give myself enough credit before and I, I'm still I'm in school right now for business administration and so I've been learning and I also have learned how to cut myself some slack yes and cut the pressure off and know know me enough get fine-tuned with my brain enough to know what my limits are and also when to push because I've been ignoring that because I've been too busy but now I'm like Yes, bring girl. I'm okay with you. Let's live together. That's, I love that. That's where I'm at. <laughs> well, I'm feeling your brain and all your goods too. Thank you for inspiring me as a as a female, as a human, as an artist, and uh, I'm so grateful for your friendship too. So everybody, the one and only amazing Adrienne DeLeon and her beautiful brain. Thank you so much <laughs> for being here. We love you, Adrienne. Mwah. Love you guys too. Bye. Bye. Bye.